Hi guys, welcome to the episode of It's a Dharma and I started making this kind of tutorials on which I will be designing. So today is a very special episode because if you don't know, unfortunately Sid Mead passed away in the end of 2019. So who was Sid Mead? If you don't know, he was a futurist designer and he worked on Blade Runner and Star Trek and he is also known as a godfather of concept art because he was the first person to start designing this kind of stuff and before that he was a car designer so you can imagine how much he influenced me unfortunately i didn't have the luck to meet him during the life and i'm very sad for that so i decided to make this episode so rip seed mid and i hope that you will like this car that i'm designing so I started designing this car in a manner of Sid Mead. It's quite low and a bit boxy because area of era when he was designing it was a bit different uh, material production. So I based shapes like that and try to reproduce. Unfortunately, I'm not Sid Mead, so I will try to make it Sid Meadish a bit with my style. And as you see, I'm using a red pencil because I always use red pen because I can see it on the back model. The back model was, that base model was designed in Blender and I make it just as a base model so I know that everything is working. Uh, this is very important in hard surface design because model like this will help you with the design and ergonomics and you will be able to design something very cool over it to make better shapes. So I'm sketching and I will speed up now video a little bit so you can see the process and then we move to other stage.
As you saw, the whole sketch was messy and we are now on a part two and we will start continuing designing this way. So what did I do? I created now a layer over it and I will start making line work. Line work is very important for any sketch and trust me, if you have good lines, you will have high quality design. The lines need to have the flow. I start with wheels always on the cars and I go on from there and I use, if you can imagine, just a normal hard surface, but hard round brush, not hard surface, but hard round brush. There is not a special brush and I use it and I create the basic lines and you will see me flipping through the sketch all the time because I want to see that the perspective is good and that everything is working. So let's move on this part. <laughs>
part three as you can see we are finally here we are starting to see the car and we are starting to see the shape now it's time to make everything work so in real life we don't have lines but here uh, in the sketches how to make them look cool it's like looking them as the shadows so now i'm starting to start the, to add the line weight and i'm adding the line weight in next manner everything that's closer to my eye and it's overlapping the next surface i put the line over it and you will see like that the line needs to have the thickness and this will give it a visual and then a visual look like it is having a depth so this step is very important it can be tiring and boring and it can take quite a lot of time but the results will be great because it will improve everything so let's speed up and do it now And as you can see, we are now in a stage where I start adding values. So I uh, block out the car, I block out the shadow. This is the main and important thing in this, uh, this uh, part of design because the shadow will show me where the light is hitting from. I decided it to be from the rear or from the back. And now I start uh, adding the shadows step by step. And this is the most important step for me. If you ask me, every designer has some put first lights and then shadows, but when it's me, I put the shadows first and uh, they start popping up the object and showing the form. So it's very important to do it precisely. The more precise you do it, the better sketch will be because it will look realistic. And I put the layer that's on multiply and start working softly. I always look that the object is consists of three lights so there is lightning there is middle value and there is shadow later i can blend more values up to six but in this stage it's very important to know that there are only true two <laughs> Same with shadow, we are start, starting to add the lights now and the lights will pop out the object even more. We know that light is coming from the back, as I said previous time, and the, sh the lights will accept the form and show it. One, two, three, as we said, shadow, middle value and light. So it's just a simple layer and I'm starting with lighten and adding it a little bit 
Later we will add color and dodge, but that comes on the end. Let's speed it up. And now is the time where I start adding the color. As I'm adding the color, you will see me starting to add the color dodge or the rim, rim light. So I'm still adding the rim light, it needs to be strong. This is a very important step and it gives it a special flair and accent to the design. So it will be chosen from the palette of seed mead because this is a tribute for the seed mead and we will use that and accent the side of the car so it pops up a bit more. Let's speed up the video so you see it.
and that was a tribute to Sid Mead. I hope you enjoyed this video of me creating the car. Hit the subscribe button if you still haven't because new tutorials will be coming. Thank you so much guys. It's a Dharma stream.